These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green, and today I want to talk about a word that I think is the most used word in any of my comments across the internet, on YouTube, on Instagram, anywhere, and that is the word Lee King. Leaking, leaking, leaking. What is it? We're going to identify it, we're going to call it out, and then I'm going to share some tips that I have, that I use, some steps that I take to mitigate or basically eliminate anything that we would call leaking. And I think the beginning of the problem is with the word leaking. We use the word leaking as like just this umbrella term for anything that means some liquid where it's not supposed to be. Maybe I'm pulling out my pod, maybe I'm refilling it, maybe I see some liquid in the bottom here, leaking. Not everything is leaking. Leaking is something that I would consider to be completely out of my control. A good example I think is the old Caliburn G2s. They were pods with removable coil heads and because of the nature of removable coil heads, they had the tendency to leak. I would use it, I would use it, I would use it, I would set it down for maybe a 24 to 48 hour period I would come back to it, high, liquid everywhere, that's leaking. Active leaking, active liquid leaving the pod. Most to all of the pods, modern pods that I've used within the last five years have been very good at not leaking. That doesn't mean I don't see liquid in places it's not supposed to be, but these pods do not actively leak liquid out the bottom. I think my tips will be helpful, but they're not going to prevent any and all leaking. There is going to be, unfortunately, because of the mass produced nature of these pods, there's just going to be some bunk pods in every package. In almost every five pack of coil heads I've ever opened, there's usually one that doesn't necessarily leak or burn, but there's always one that's like slightly an underperformer, one that doesn't last quite as long, or one that leaks. The first thing and one thing that I always talk about in literally every pod video is keeping my play area clean. That means every time I fill up a pod, no matter what, it gets wiped off. I do that little flip my shirt, wipe it all off. I make it a point to never, never put a pod back into a battery if there is any visible liquid anywhere. Keeping my play area clean has solved like 70% of my liquid where it's not supposed to be problem. It is so much easier to wipe liquid off of a pod that's outside of the battery than it is to wipe off liquid from inside of the battery. So I try to keep that from ever happening. Some pods are top fill, some pods are bottom fill, some pods are bottom on the side fill. No matter what the filling method, I always, always, always 100% of the time take the pod out of the battery to fill it up. Yes even with crack to fill. It's just this little technique. I love to crack it with one hand. The bottle goes in, but the pod always comes all the way out. Keep my play area clean. No liquid anywhere. Under my normal use, this should stay like that. One thing that I think people call leaking is actually gurgling. When I take a drag sometimes, I feel a little bit of like a gurgle, and I may sometimes even get maybe little bits of liquid into my mouth. This is a very, Unfortunately, very regular, regular thing that just happens with every pod I've ever used. There's various reasons. Sometimes it's after a refill when you break that vacuum in there. Sometimes it's from warm weather, from heat, being in hot conditions. Sometimes it's from changes in elevations, but there's a lot of factors that can help push liquid into the coil head and kind of create that leaking, even though it's not leaking, but gurgling, sensation. Mm. It's easy to fix and it kind of becomes a habit. When I was a cigarette smoker, I had little habits I did with lighters or packs or Zippos or things like that. I've just translated that into the vape world. And now every dozen or so puffs just out of instinct or something, I'll put my finger on the pod and I'll kind of just pop, pop, flick it down at the ground. Sometimes after I do that, I even see some liquid up here keep it clean. That flick at the ground will literally clear and fix any gurgle that's happening. Any liquid getting in my mouth is fixed by the flick. Another cause of leaking or liquid where it's not supposed to be, and this is a little bit more rare, but it has happened to me a 
few times, and that is bottom fill pods with the little rubber cover, and I go to fill it up, and I press this in, and I don't quite press it in all the way, and it leaves a little hole, a little gap in that vacuum in the pod. That has led to some tremendous leaking. The whole pod empties out. It's really rare, but it does happen, and it's just another thing that I've added into like the checklist of the pod. Okay, so it's not actually that rare, and for some reason he didn't mention that it happens more frequently for me on the crack to fill when I'm putting it back on. I'll crack to fill it, I'll fill it up, I'll wipe it all off, and I'll put it back on, and if I didn't put it down completely secure, or if there's a little gap, or if it's just, you know, broken that seal and I set it down and I don't vape it, or if I'm biting this way too much, like I have the tendency to do and I physically like bite through the cap, that will let air in and that will lead to leaking too. Editing guy within an editing guy, crazy. Back to the other editing guy. We're just, this is, we're just adding to the checklist of preventing leaking. Back to the other guy, he finishes strong. It's a great video. And the last thing I wanna mention is something I touched on before, but two really big factors for forcing liquid into a coil head is elevation changes. Sometimes if I'm driving in mountainous areas and I'm changing elevations, that will force liquid into the coil head and cause some leaking liquid where it's not supposed to be, definitely some gurgling, and I think the biggest offender is temperature, warm weathers, going from maybe an air conditioned room where my vape's been getting vaped, going outside in the hot California sun, leaving this pod in my car in the hot California sun, that just forces liquid right into those coils. The same exact thing happens with rebuildables as well. Rebuildable boros, rebuildable RTAs in hot temperatures, leaving it in my car, leaving it outside, same thing, forces the liquid liquid right into that cotton, right into that coil, leaks. So I'm always, always very well aware of where my pod is and what the temperature is around it. If it leaves the house with me and goes on an errand run, it never sits in the car. It always goes in my pocket. It always travels with me. In my reviews, I always try to mention leaking or any liquid where it's not supposed to be, and there rarely is any leaking or liquid where it's not supposed to be. And I think that's because I just trained my brain on these steps to mitigate that. I think in the world of vaping, there's always going to be the struggle to contain the liquid, but there are steps we can do to mitigate all of that. Uh, this is rambling. If you're watching this and you maybe still smoke tobacco cigarettes, now is definitely the time to switch. I believe in you. Literally all of the science says you should and it has never been easier. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm putting links to just science, just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke so... Like that's the goal. Every single day is the goal. That's how we get the most benefits from switching to vaping. But don't beat yourself up if maybe every other day you had a cigarette or maybe today was a really tough day and you had a cigarette, but most of the time you vape, the goal is just to vape all the time. Smoke less, vape more. That's how you vape. And goes on an errand one. Yeah, it was great.